Hey everybody, Dr. Nelson here. Uh, this is an interactive video lesson on tax. So we're going to do a couple problems together on the first page. You're going to take notes with me. And then you have a chance to pause the video and try a problem on your own. And then at the end you can see how you did. So what exactly is a tax? I'm sure it's a word that you heard of before. But the te technical definition of a tax is that it's money that the government collects based on income, sales, and other activities. So let's write that down in this, in this box here. So it's money that the government collects based on income, sales, and other activities. All right, so I'm sure you've heard of the sales tax before and maybe some other types of taxes. So let's just jump into a couple problems here. So it says New York City charges a 9% hotel tax per room. How much is the fee for a room costing $150? So taxes are normally added, right, to the final bill. So the actual cost of this uh, hotel room is going to be 9% more than the $150. So let's set up our proportion. Let me use a different color here. So we're going to have our proportion bars. And we're going to have 100 be down here. Now we know 100% of the, of, the, of the cost of the room is $150. So that's going to go right across from the 100%. Now this is the part that's really important. Okay, Because 9% is being added to the total cost of the room, we need to add 9% to 100%. So this is now going to be 109% on the top. And this value over here will end up being 109% of 150. So now that we have two equal ratios, we can write our equation because we know that uh, n times 100 is going to be 100n. And that 109 times 150 gives us 16,350. And then finally, when we divide both sides by 100, n is going to end up being $163.50. So that would be the final cost that you'd have to pay with either cash or a credit card to actually stay in the hotel room because you're adding the tax to the $150. All right, next one. It says Janice paid $19.16 for an apple basket. All right, this amount includes a tax of 3%, okay? What was the cost of the apple uh, before the tax? All right, so this one's gonna be a little bit different because now the tax is actually included in the price that was paid, all right? So as always, this is gonna be 100 right here. And altogether, Janice paid 103%. So this is gonna be 103 on the top, right? Because again, the way we got 103, is we did 100% plus that extra 3%. All right, now, the $19.16, because that includes the tax, that goes across from the 103. So $19.16 goes here, and then the unknown will be here. So if you notice that this is gonna be a smaller number than $19.16, this is gonna be the actual cost of the apple basket before the tax was added. All right, so now we can write our equation. So it's going to be 103 times n, so it's 103n. That's going to equal $19.16 times 100, which is going to be 1,916. And now when I divide both sides by 103, uh, 1,916 divided by 103 gives us $18.60. So n is going to be $18.60. And 60 cents I rounded that to the nearest penny so that was the cost of the apple basket before the 3% sales tax was was added all right so why don't you pause the video and try the your turn now problem and when you're done hit play you can see how you did all right good luck all right welcome back let's say do these practice problems 
So the first one says, Mrs. Nelson spent $205.60 at Target. If the sales tax is 6%, what was her final bill? All right. So what this is saying is basically that $205.60, that does not include the tax. So the $205.60, that's going to go across from 100. So this is going to be 205 and 60 cents. And because the sales tax is 6%, we need to add that to our 100%. So this is going to be 106 here. And N over here is going to be the amount that includes the tax. So now we can use a little algebra here. So it's going to be N times 100 is 100 N. And that's going to equal 205.6 times 106 gives us 21,000. 793.6 and then when I divide both sides by 100 we end up with a cost of $217 and 94 cents I rounded that to the nearest penny so that right there is the total cost including the 6% sales tax all right let's look at the second one it says Bruce purchases a cell phone for $25 this amount includes a six uh, a tax of six percent. All right, what was the cost of the item before the tax? All right, well, so again, twenty-five dollars. That's the cost that includes the sales tax. All right, so we know that sales tax is six percent. So this is going to be a hundred plus six percent, so one hundred six. But this time, notice this twenty-five dollars again includes the tax, right? So that's why it needs to be across from, from the one hundred six. So 25 goes there and the unknown goes here. So now we can write our equation. So 25 times 100 is 2,500. And that's going to equal 106 times n, which is 106n. And then if I divide both sides by 106, 2,500 divided by 106 gives us $23.58. $23.58. So that was the cost of the phone. I'm assuming like a phone protector or something uh, before the 6% tax was added. All right. How'd you do?